one we're going to work is a little bit harder. It's number 99A on page 926. And it says calculate the number of atoms in each of the following masses. And it tells us that we have a mass of 54 grams of aluminum. And it wants to know how many atoms we have. Now we don't have a conversion factor straight from grams to atoms, but we do know two conversion factors. We know that one mole of aluminum always equals its molar mass, and the molar mass of aluminum, if we look on the periodic table, is 26.98 grams of aluminum. We also know that one mole of aluminum equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. Okay, so we see we have a connection here between the moles. So we go ahead and set up our problem. It's going to be a two-step problem. We'll have 54 grams of aluminum. And we start out, and we have grams right here, so we need grams on the bottom. This is the only conversion factor that has grams, so we go 26.98 grams of aluminum equals one mole of aluminum. We see that grams and grams cancel. But we're still not done yet because we need it in atoms. So we've used that conversion factor. Mole is here, so mole needs to go there. One mole of aluminum equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, and that's of aluminum. See that moles cancel, and we're left with the unit that we want, atoms of aluminum. So we multiply 54 times 1 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and divide all of that by 26.98, and we should get an answer of 1.205 times 10 to the 24th atoms of aluminum. So we're going to be working number 100, uh, 100B on page 926, and it says calculate the mass of the following numbers of atoms. And it tells us that we have 3.01 times 10 to the 21st atoms of cobalt, which is CO in the periodic table, and it wants us to take it to the mass of cobalt. So we need to know how many grams of cobalt we have. So our two conversion factors that we need, we know that one mole of cobalt equals 6.022 times 10 23rd atoms of cobalt. We know that one mole of cobalt equals its gram form or its molar mass, sorry, of 58.93 grams. Okay, and now we can set up our problem. Start with what the problem gives us, which is 3.01 times 10 to the 21st atoms of cobalt. And we solve from here. We have atoms here, so we need atoms down here. So that will be our 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And that's of cobalt. We know that that equals one mole. Those units will cancel. We have mole here, and that's of cobalt. So we put one mole of cobalt on the bottom. We put its molar mass on top, which is 58.93 grams of cobalt. And we see that moles cancel. We're left with grams of cobalt, which is what we want. So we multiply the top out. 3.01 times 10 to the 22nd times 1 times 58.93 all divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and we should get an answer of 0 0.29 grams of cobalt.